Hello! So, we weren't going to vlog today, but we've decided, actually, there's plenty of stuff going on today, so actually, we'll pick up the camera and vlog. So, um, before we start the day, I want to give you a little bit of an update and show you around the place, because um, there's been a couple of changes since um, we last vlogged. Aiden is going to recut my hair. Obviously, about three, four vlogs ago, Aiden cut it, um, so it has been a while. Um, I did ask Aiden to leave some length on it when he originally cut my hair, but it needs to be redoing, redone, so Aiden's going to do that um, for me. Um, I'm going to take you upstairs, as there's a couple of bits I want to show you, um, just as a bit of a house update, and then I'll go downstairs and sh uh, show you, and then I'll tell you what the plan is for today. So let's head upstairs. So, this is where the magic happens. Um, right, we told you a couple of vlogs ago that um, Ken had got us um, aircon. Now, I said this to Ken's um, face um, over the phone, and basically, for all you Brits that are watching now, 99.9% .9 of you, I'm very confident, won't have aircon at home. You'll likely have a fan like that. When it came, I thought this is absolutely ridiculous, yeah, in the sense that, like, um, how privileged I am to have it, yeah, on the basis that no one in the UK really has aircon, except, like, hotel rooms and supermarkets and stores, yeah, but to have it in your house, it's unheard of. For you Americans watching, yeah, I know it's just a, um, as a general thing, especially if, like, you're in a very hot state, yeah? Um, you have to excuse my hair for the rest of the vlog, because, like I said, it needs to be cut. <laughs> Never mind. So, here it is, right? Um, there, we've got it shoots outside the window, right? It is the best thing, right, Imag imaginable? Is that the right word? Yeah? It is the best thing. Ugh. Flip me life. Um, yeah. It is... Absolutely wonderful. It has been on every night since. About uh, five days into us having it, um, two things were trending on Twitter. One, hashtag heatwave, hashtag sleep, and that was because people couldn't get to sleep over in the uh, UK. However, us being privileged um, to have the aircon, um, we slept like an absolute baby, and it's been on every night um, since, so it's been nothing but absolutely lush. I will not be ever getting a fan over there ever again if we've, we've gone to a store since actually getting the um, aircon, and I've looked at the fans and like from a distance, and I've been like, nah, not for me. Like, you, you just all need to invest in aircon. Um, this. If you do have a bit of cash, right, because obviously this was a gift from Ken to me and Aiden, please, please, please consider getting one. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's got loads of different settings, but obviously we all change and stuff. Another thing that we um, didn't do for about three years, yeah, Aiden has trimmed the curtains, so they just stop there now. They've been on touching the floor since the days of the flat, yeah? Um, so beforehand, Aiden would like shimmy down the side of his bed, right? And like trip over these, because they were on the floor. He just hemmed them up with some like, um, some uh, web kind of thing. So that's the update on the bedroom, the boudoir. Also, Aiden, what you doing, darling? What you doing? Do you want to do show them you work on the wardrobe? Are you happy to meet me do it? Well, I look an absolute mess, so maybe you... Okay, Aiden hasn't got ready yet, um, so he's saying it looks a mess. So, Aiden has, um, so now in the music room is our wardrobes, right? Um, beforehand it was just the uh, piano, and beforehand the wardrobes were along that side of the wall there, but he has sorted everything out, it is a little bit messy there, I'll give, give it that, right? But, he's, fa he's like n neatly put all the t-shirts away and everything like that, so it all looks really, really neat. If you, and then on the other side of the doors, we've got some tech equipment and an iron <laughs> and some music equipment, suits and stuff, but then also like all the socks nicely folded and stuff. Have you seen these? How cool are they? Aiden, <laughs> Aiden got them like ages and ages and ages ago. Still hasn't wore them. I think he got these back in like February time. Um, so, uh, he's, he's, he's been very, very organised in that wardrobe and um, if I put anything in the wrong place, he does let me know. Then into the office. So it's a little bit of a tip at the minute, but um, you can see that we've got our desks, um, microphones for our podcast. Well, it wasn't that we normally sit on there for and whatnot. And then now the wardrobes 
for my flats are in here. Yeah, I've got some storage baskets up there, and then down, uh, and then that's like the spare bedroom. Obviously, no one's been in the spare bedroom for ages because of lockdown. Um, so obviously, that ends why the mirrors were sat there. But there is still a couple of bits and bobs that I want to show you downstairs. So let's head downstairs. So, um. We had a bit of an issue regarding um, like lots and lots and lots of dog stuff everywhere, right? Um, my nana had two spare baskets. Here they are now, and we just fill them up with the dog stuff. And this is like all the walking stuff. So you've got like um, a frisbee, a harness, a, a ball, a um, treat pouch, towels to wipe his feet, etc., etc. And then here we've got one full of his toys. So. That then means that if we head into the kitchen, da, 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 da. washing machines on, so I'll speak loudly. Everything's nice and neatly put there, and it's fine. So you've got treats, treat bags that are already open, treats that um, aren't open, medical stuff, poo bags, toothpaste, stuff like that. Um, Big things like Kongs and um, like Yaks mugs and stuff and then in here we've then got like torches for when it's in winter and a spare ball and stuff like that so And speaking of Ruben, there you are my babies You okay? Yeah? No I haven't got anything for you sweetie um, Aiden is here, he's just on the computer um, Hello. No I just took a little bit of a mess, that's all. Yeah, well, we, do, we both do now. So, the plan for today is that I very quickly just called me Nana and said, do you want to come over for Sunday lunch? And um, it's very hot in here, I'm going to open the back door, yeah. which I'll show you. I, I called me Nana and said, do you want to come over for Sunday lunch? So, that's part of the vlog. Also, Aiden's going to cut me hair later on. Um, and I want to show you this bit, a few bits and bobs like this. So, one of the things that Nana also got us was this fly net. Yeah, so you can see it now over in the States. I know you've all got like these big door things that like are made of this mesh material anyways But it's just magnetic strips so I can just push the door open It shuts itself so then no bugs or flies will come through Ruben hasn't learned that he can go through it yet on his own um, But actually I've taught him a new trick so what I'll do is I'll just get some treats and I'll show you his new trick so I've got a treat, it's a potato and mackerel treat. Would you like to get a more organic and natural stuff? Um, it stinks of uh, fish. So let's see if he'll do his, uh, do his trick, shall we? So he's sitting like a good boy, yes. You can see it? Play the piano. Yes, good boy. There we go, good boy. Um, that was it was really quite easy um, to show Ruben what to do there and um, I was teaching him touch Which he touches with his nose, but also it's quite easy to get dogs to like touch certain things So I'm just changing the camera then um, on the basis that if you Basically I grabbed the treat and put it high end of the um, piano and every time he jumped up he got the treat um, So now I just say play the piano and he runs over and yeah Jumps on it and he knows that, it ha that it, if, if his paws touch the wood, he doesn't get it. If, the if his paws touch the keys of the piano, he gets it. So he knows that he needs to hear the noise to get the treat. So yeah. Right, as I said, Nana's coming over. So rather than Ruben being energetic um, for Nana, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Ruben out on the field um, and play fetch with him for a little bit. And then um, that way he's a little bit less calm. Um, more calm, not less calm, more calm for when Nana comes. Ready, Ruben? You ready? Go! Hello, so we're back from the field and Nana came I'm to the field. I'm a bit worried about how windy it is. Yeah, we're, we're, we're Ruben! Right um, um, Nana. So Nana's here. So we came, um, I was on the field and then all of a sudden Nana, I could see Nana in the distance. So Nana, um, Aiden was upstairs in the shower at the time. So um, so yeah, um, we're going to have Sunday lunch. I'm going to make everyone a cup of tea now. Um, and um, 
we're likely to move inside, which is the first time in like a five month that we've sat down inside for a good Yeah, few hours. we've bubbled up though, haven't we? Yeah, we've bubbled. So basically, the, the current government, which by the way, keep Ooh. on changing, behave. <laughs> we keep changing the current, the current government guidelines. Um, to like more severe, which is like which is fine, but the, the death rate and cases are dropping. It, what it is is Boris Johnson doesn't have a flipping clue what's going on. Neither does half the world, to be fair. But um, Boris is just a, uh, one big massive joke, in my opinion. Um, but basically, you can bubble up because we've bubbled up with Nana, and Nana, Nana's bubbled up with us, so we can be safe according to the guidelines. So. Have you showed them now a wonderful new um, fly curtain? Oh, fancy. Magnetic, which then means that we can have the um, door wide open and yeah. no no busy flies. Bzz. I'm out the shower now. It only took us, well, I got up like 10 o'clock. I was having a bit of a lazy Sunday, quarter past three. Got in the shower, fine. What are you going to do? I've put a pork joint in, which will be delicious with some crackman. Oh, I love crackman so much. And I'm going to have dinner probably in about half an hour. Um, my hair's still wet. It's not greasy. Don't think it's greasy. <laughs> So we're just having Sunday lunch, my brother took in. Um, I am wearing tissue paper <laughs> as a bib because I've come to terms with um, I'm quite often a bit of a messy eater with like soup and gravy and anything a bit wet, it's bound to land on me top. Yes, it looks so nice we're though. So tuck in. Zoom out. Some pork. Some pork, veg, potatoes, yeah. dog buttons. You know the drift, anyone in the UK. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aiden, have you changed the setting? Because it's a lot more brighter. Yeah, it's one all on top. Why? Because I've got a manual mode to put on, put on film mode and on the top. It's, it's recording. Okay, guys. As I explained earlier in the video, um, Aiden's going to cut me hair. This is getting quite long. <laughs> Aiden just made Nana laugh because he had the nerve to say, um, "I don't know if me head, me giant head, will fit through this piece of metal, uh, metal, um, silver." plastic thing um a cape thing which catches the hair and if you've seen the previous vlogs when Aiden's from me hair now if you haven't right and you've just stumbled upon our channel first of all subscribe if you're new and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it um but second of all Aiden isn't a qualified hairdresser he's watched youtube videos during lockdown and that's it yeah and he did a pretty good job the last time so let's wait and see um if he does a just as good if not better job the second time around if you can hear the toilet it's because Aiden's just come out the toilet so um there's no class in these vlogs at all. Come on then. Right, here we go. Right! Zoom. So as you can see, I've just shaved the back and kind of blended it from a one up to a four. Um, well, it's kind of a three really, because um, I've like chopped chop this side back in as you can see it kind of like lays a little bit down this kind of goes forward like that you see the vibe yes <laughs> i'm gonna go and do the top now how are you feeling i'm um, a lot more confident than i did before when aiden last did me hair i was a little bit drunk um because i was a little bit nervous because i was like oh god here we go mm -hmm. but on the on the basis that it was he did a very good job i'm hoping he'll do the same great <laughs> Right, I have finished um, the back. I've also finished the top. I'm going to dry it off. I'm going to thin it out. And then um, I will show you the big reveal once it's done. As you can see. Actually, I should just really show you what's going on. So this is all going to be brushed forward. So you can see I've kind of just blended it. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Same on this side. All blends nicely. I'm going to dry it out. And then I've taken a bit of but Ryan likes to keep it I quite... haven't seen it yet, so... No, he likes to keep it quite long, so... Um, kept I do like long. to keep the, the top bit a, a bit long, but yeah. not too long. Okay, cool. I'm going to dry it off. So I haven't seen me hair yet, right? And I'm looking in the viewfinder, but I'm cutting off my hair. So I'm trying, trying, trying to avoid it by not looking. However... Um, we've just been talking about like other ha uh, hair pieces um, and let it be known uh, my eyebrow um, is really a, a full on one brow it's, it's, it's quite thick there, well not thick there but I can feel it there so Aiden's got to find the tweezers and it'll, it, uh, he's done it before and it, it, it is really quite painful for him to do my eyebrows or whatever but um, but yeah so yeah um, and then the next shot should be my hair. Now obviously you can see, I can see this bit, but I knew that was gonna be short. I wanna see the top bit and how good he's done there. So, so yeah. Goodbye, Mona Brow, can you see it? Oh, you can't find the tweezers? Update, oh, can't find the tweezers. I can shape it though, if you want. It'll just grow by thicker, won't it? I probably. Right, so. 
Do that. Are you going to do me finish me hair? Um, it's lovely, to be honest. Good. Um, I'm more than it. All right. Yeah. I mean, do you want to look at it? Yes, I'm going to go upstairs and look at the mirror. Okay. I'm, I don't know whether or not that that this might be a tiny bit long. I'm just gonna. Can't look at it. <laughs> Do you think it's a tiny bit? I think it's a tiny, tiny bit long one. I'm just joking. Yeah, it was not bad. Right, before we go upstairs, um, so I can see how good of a job it is done. Absolutely. Um, go down so I can see the bag. Very nice. As you can see. Nana, Nana says it's very, very nice. Turn so. around, do a spin. Lovely. Keep going. There you go. I realised, right, that. Unless I've got like a wedding or anything to go to, something like really important, I don't really want to pay for a professional haircut because a professional haircut is seventeen pounds per hour. Pro Corbus, I can't even handle. Um, it. Well, it, we have to be very budget friendly, and there'll be a, um, a vlog specifically all about that in the future. Um, we just got to get the correct word for it. Um, that makes sense in the future. Uh, da, da, da. Basically, I should get my hair cut maybe eight times, sorry, eight point six times a year, times that by seventeen. I could save one hundred and forty-seven pound thirty-three pence. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, me. No mind, Aiden. Um, but Aiden, all I want is to get his professionally done because um, my hair's a bit of a crazy. Yeah, yours is yours is a bit more wild to your hair than mine. But if I can save one hundred and fifty quid a year um, by letting Aiden do my hair cut, but then I'll get like maybe one at Christmas time and one for a wedding or whatever. Then fine. yeah, go. Do you want to go? Right, let's have a look. Be careful, you have to hold it. Ready? Don't want to drop that, that's a nightmare. Do you think you can hold it? Right, go on then. Oh, you've done a good job again? Yeah. You have? <laughs> no, I have. <laughs> I'm I'm not... What do you think I was going to do? Well, I, I just thought it was beginner's luck the first time you did it. No. But no, it's uh, that's really, really good. Is there anything I, I, that you want? Because all the stuff's still out. Is there anything that yeah? No, no, it's fine. It's it's it's, it's perfect. Okay, cool. It is. Um, I stand. Uh, my point corrected. Like, I'm, I'm sure technically a, um, a actual qualified hairdresser yeah. can do a better job. This and that's maybe not me being rude. I might just take a tiny, yeah. tiny bit more out of that. Um, I'm sure, like technically. Well, I think definitely. But, uh, appearance-wise, yeah. I still just look as fat. So it's fine. <laughs> Right, Nana has now gone home. Aidan's just watching the video on his phone about photography, aren't you? Mm-hmm. And... Put the kettle on. I will put the kettle on for you, yeah, no problem. I'm going to um, head out and play fetch with Ruben for half an hour outside. And then when we get back, we're going to give him a good bath. I think we mentioned the shampoo before, didn't we? Mm. Did we? Smells like baby. Like, we did, we did um, mention that in a previous vlog, didn't we? Smells like talcum powder, baby yeah. powder. Um, it's a lovely shampoo, um, really, really cheap. Um, um, you get a full litre of it, so it's going to last like seven, eight months. Go find the previous vlog and you'll understand where it is. I look so much better, yeah, with this haircut compared to the beginning of the vlog. So much better. And that's not me being vain or anything, it's just Amazing. my hair looks ten times better. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. Ready, Ruben? Ready? Good boy. Who's in the bath? Who's in the bath? Oh. It's not me, it's Ruben. <laughs> so, right, I have my hair cut, but Ruben's getting a nice wash. Oh, that's very smelly, that. Yeah, so basically, this is the bottle. How right? much have you used? Not much. It's baby fresh. Whoa, no way. Not now, not now, not now. Not when you're soapy suds. Um, so, basically, it smells very, very clean. Yeah. Very like baby talc. Well, talcum powder. Yeah. Um, so he smells lush. So I'm going to okay. finish him off, dry him off, and then you can see him. Oh. Come on down. Here he we've is. got. Here we've got a clean bungus. Woo! Ah, ribbon. <laughs> he's a clean bungus. Oh, he's a cleany woos. Oh, he's a me clean boy. He's still wet. <laughs> he's a bit damp. No. Okay. He's mm. a bit dampy dude. You're nice and clean now. Clean How good does he smell? Oh. Oh, he smells lovely. Oh, he lovely smells. Oh, he smells like garden fresh. Yeah, well, not garden fresh, baby fresh. Baby fresh. Yeah? When he came down and shook me, 
you know, you know, I didn't get it, but he came down, he was soaking wet and shook. Yeah. And me taking it. Was soaking. Yeah. Yeah? Oh. Look how bushy he is. Ah, there oh, we go. Oh, it's gorgeous. He smells oh, it's lush. Absolutely smelly and beautiful. Yeah. He's yeah. smelly, beautiful. You happy? You clean. You are clean, Oh. <laughs> you want dinners? Ooh. Dinners? I've been instructed by Ryan to close this vlog. I don't actually know how long this, this video has been. I don't think it's been particularly very long at all. I cut his hair. We had dinner. We even got in the bath. Watched one episode of Desperate Housewives. It's midnight now, going to bed. Yeah, it's been a bit of a canny vlog, I guess. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you haven't already, click that subscribe button. And um, click the notification bell. So you're notified when we upload. And I don't know when that is. So click it to make sure you do. That doesn't make sense. Ta-ra.